This is a demonstration of Amatex SG Series DC power supplies. The SG Series comes in various power configurations ranging from 5 kilowatts to 30 kilowatts. At this size chassis with a 3U package, you can get up to 15 kilowatts. Here is an overview of the front panel and some of the top features of the power supply. If you want to set the output voltage, you simply press the volt button and then program a voltage. We'll try 50 volts and then press enter. Turn the output button on and the output goes to 50 volts. If you want to configure the current limit, press the current limit button and set the current limit. Let's try 10 amps and press enter. The current limit is now set to 10 amps and you can see on the display the actual set voltage as well as the current one. You can also see the over voltage protection setting. Now let's explore some of the user features of this power supply. Go to the home screen and scroll down to the language setting if you prefer to use a language other than English. From the options you can select English, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Italian, French, German, or Spanish. Then you can return to the home button. One of the best features of the SG series is that you can configure parallel units for higher current requirements. So you can take two, three, four, or five of these chassis and parallel them for higher current ratings. For ease of use, you can set the maximum current for the entire system from the front panel. To set that up, go to Home and scroll through the different menus. Go to the System level and set the maximum current level for the whole system. This particular box is configured for 100 volts, 150 amps. However, if you had three of them together connected in parallel, you could set the current limit to 450 amps. To do that, just press 450 in the keypad and then hit enter. Now this power supply is a 100 volt, 450 amp supply with two other power supplies connected in parallel. Another feature of the power supply is the sequence capabilities so you can program a series of events. If you want to ramp the voltage or if you want to go from one voltage to another at a particular time, it's very easy to do so by pressing the sequence button. Go to test number one and press program. So it's test number one, step number one. You can move over to the display and select NOP for no operation or select voltage mode. You can specify a voltage ramp. Just pick the starting voltage, the ending voltage, the current limit, and then how much time is at that particular step. Once you've made that selection, you can press insert and then go to the next step and select the same kind of settings. So you can set different voltages, different currents, and different times. Once you put that together, you can hit home and it will ask you to save. After saving, press the start tab to have it run through the sequence.